Oh yeah. Beautiful. Well hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So, it's a beautiful day. Nice breeze, finally cooling off a little bit. And I want to go for a little hike, little explore. Right there, old rail bed. You know how I love walking them. And uh, starting right out at this beautiful pond. So, let's head that way, see what's out there. So, as usual, we'll be looking for the signs of where people did things long ago. As I always state, these rail beds allow us to cut through big chunks of land, you know, like a core sample, and see areas that, you know, normally would not be so easily accessible. Damn planes. Wing. Guys doing all kinds of spinneroonies and stuff. You know, it's cool to see old airplanes and stuff flying, but when it comes to editing for me, oh man, they are a nuisance. So this is going to be one of those areas that I don't know if we're going to see any old farmland out here. It's it's a pretty rough stretch, but you never know. So far, the only wall I've seen is up on the other side there, and it's just running with the track, so it was probably built for that fact there. But who knows, maybe we'll come across some cool grant builds, some bridges. Who knows? That's the first build I've seen. Looks like it's all stone lined underneath. And then they put concrete over it. Probably at a later date. Probably the same story with this rail system. You know, mid to late 1800s build. And then out of service by the early 1900s or mid. Most of them didn't last 60, 70 years. Well, our first sign of people doing things other than making railroad tracks. Just a dig out for the rail bed for resources to level out and fill in. And actually, we've got a few ties. Nothing crazy exciting, but something so just a general observation see how that's all dug out right there dug out on this side it means we're coming to a levee when they start pulling stuff from up here that's probably the case down there there you go 
big fill-in. Wow. Doesn't look like there's any bridge though, as in a granite line tunnel underneath, but figured when I saw that back there, they were gonna be building up. All right, well you guessed it, it's that point in the trip or the video where I get off trail and go snooping in the woods. It looked like a cart path coming down in here and up on the tracks, uh, I was looking down, had to be 100 feet. Just looked interesting in here, so let's check this out. Wow, this isn't the flattest piece of land I've come across in the last mile and a half, 30 minutes. Huh. I think I see stacked rock. That would be lovely. If we can get to it. Ugh. Oh yeah. That's a good sign. This is the first rock wall that we've seen not associated with the rail bed. And that would be really cool if we find an old farm out here. That way. Oh my god. A cellar hole. Wow. I knew it after walking whoa, through so much nothingness and then looking down off the hill, it just looked different. This thing has been deserted a long time chimney stack side it's all just caving in over here and one wall remains huh oh nothing we can do about it right now these people are out in the middle of nowhere there are no roads anywhere nearby wow well, we'll take a walk through and around. See if I can find another way out without getting lost. But yeah, that's essentially their side yard. All grown back in. So as you can see, I found me a little trail, which is good. It seems to be taking me back in the direction of the tracks, which that's what I hope. That's it, I'm back out on the tracks. That was interesting. For as bad as it is all around walking through here, somebody was living out there hundreds of years ago. Great find, absolutely. All right, that's it. We did what we had to do today, and I appreciate you all joining me. I'll see you next time. Get out and explore your world and enjoy your not Thursday. Mm -hmm.